welcome back to captain of industry and we have a lab level 5 that is operational as you can see some recycling coming out and we have the research part level 4 going in so we have started to research the last part the end game part i am starting with co2 recycling so we can transform our carbon dioxide directly into graphite that would be a lot more efficient way to make graphite and this will also enable me to really decrease my emissions my pollutions my air pollutions after that we'll want to increase our microchip production our assembly robotic level 2 and then we can get into the rocket assembly so definitely seeing the end of the research tree that doesn't mean we are done there's definitely quite a few things to be done but yeah we're getting there to do that we had to start making construction part level 4 let's dive into that i had a huge reserve of lab equipment level 2 they are now all gone this is empty we transform them into lab equipment level 3 and then now into lab equipment level 4 with some electronics level 2 this requires 4 per minute so with one of these you can make 6 per minute but to do that you need 12 of these right which means two of these which means 24 of the gold ones which means actually two of these and not just one and that means 48 of these ones which means actually not two of these but four of these so there's quite a lot that you need and that's why as you can see actually this is not really a good ratio right now silicon wafer is also full so we have some stock to start creating microchips and you may have realized also in the last episode when we completely redid the oil production that I deleted my rubber and my plastic makers. For the rubber, I recreated a couple of them over here, very easy, just using diesel and sulfur to make a lot more rubber. It's a lot better to use the sulfur one that we need to do something with rather than coal, right, where we are limited. On top of that, with coal, we're creating wastewater, so definitely better to use this one. There are a couple of ways to make this rubber, as you can see. You can use the diesel, the naphtha, or the ethanol. If we're looking here at this cracking unit, 18 naphtha is making 24 diesel. So in my opinion, the diesel one is better than the naphtha one, right? Because this is 12, 12 to make 18. There's also a third way, which is the ethanol. This is actually a great way because you can make ethanol from your corn or from your sugar cane. And making corn or sugar cane basically only requires space and water, right? So this is quite a good one. For the rubber, I decided to make it simple and not do that. But for the plastic, this is exactly what I did. Because looking at the polymerization plan, which is where you make your plastic, you can use either naphtha once again, or the ethanol. In this case, I already decided to use the ethanol, both because I didn't want to use naphtha. As I said, you know, the naphtha is used directly, completely in my oil production. And also because, as I said, ethanol is sort of a free resource, just takes space. So this is what we're making here. I have two of these, so I can make almost 100 plastic per minute. This chemical plant level two paused here is paused because this will be for my CO2 recycling when we finish this research. For now, we're just sending the CO2 into the atmosphere. So we need 24 ethanol. That means four of these because this is six for each. It needs some oxygen, 12 and some sugar. So that means 48 sugar, 48 oxygen. That's why I have two of these air separators one here one there and then four of these food processor to make sugar right and that means four times 15 for each of these greenhouse level two if you put no fertilizer and you have enough water this is around 15 so exactly what we need and that's why you can see actually i have some reserve and the water is coming over here from the groundwater three of them they're not actually working around uh, percent which is why this is fine to use three and the other output is the biomass. We're just turning the biomass into compost and then dropping the compost to the ocean as always. So with this simple layout, again, it does take space, it does take water. But apart from that, this is sort of a free way to make ethanol and therefore a free way to make plastic. One thing to note is that the research lab is 12 teraflops. So you need to increase your server capacity in your data center. This is 240 servers, right? So that's quite a lot. We've also completed the size of the city I wanted. That means 5,500 population, quite a lot. Now for the star of the show, for the star of this episode, we're going to talk about the microchips. With this, I am able to make microchips. This is not the simplest production. Let's dive right in. It does start with silicon wafer. Remember, we're making silicon wafer here with some poly, some water. It does require teraflops, so that's why for now I only have one. 
in the future we can definitely increase that and then we're gonna need some of those microchip machines and as you can see there is a lot of recipes we need to actually do them all it's not like you have a choice because to make microchips you need microchip stage 4b to make 4b you need 4a plus a few things to make 4a you need 3c plus a few things and again and again you, ba you basically start over here wafer plus acid plus water to make stage 1a and then you need to make all of these so you have two ways to do it simplest would be to have one of those microchip machine per recipe so that means 12 of these machine in a long line in a sense and that will work but that will require a lot of teraflops right 12 times 4 48 that's a lot of servers a lot of electricity a lot of people and there is a smarter way this is what you can see here because you have four stages right from one to four and you have three steps a b c and each of those steps always takes the same resources step a always takes acid plus water step b always takes plastic plus copper and step c always takes gold so that's what i've done here where i have you know, the fluid storage for water and acid to go into this one i have the plastic and copper go into this one and have the gold to go into this one now what will happen is that we start here with some silicon we do the first one we add some acid some water we create microchip stage 1a it goes into this one right it does stage 1a plus copper plus plastic stage 1b goes into this one stage 1b plus gold and it makes the 1c then it's going to go into this sorter the sorter says if it's a microchip go this side right to go into the storage if it's not a microchip go back so it will go back go back and it will go back to the start right remember basically what we made here is a 1c we go here this 1c is going to be taken with some acid some water to match 2a then 2a goes into this one with some copper plastic match 2b then it goes into this one with 2b with some gold makes 2c and then it goes again back and this is for example this one that you can see here it's going to go over here and then when it arrives over here it's going to do this one it's going to make 2c plus acid plus water to make 3a and 3a will make 3b 3b will make 3c then 3c will come back and then we'll do the last one which is 3c to make 4a 4a to make 4b and then finally 4b to make microchip and then it will be sorted out into this now one important thing if you want to do this is make sure that you put the highest level so 3 2 1 and 0 or here 4 3 2 and 1 at the top in terms of priority because otherwise what will happen is basically if i look at this one if i put the silicon wafer at the top then i'm going to make silicon wafer forever basically in a sense <laughs> so i don't want that i want to make sure that as soon as I have some of these, I transform them into microchip. If I don't have any of these, then I focus on these ones. If I don't have any of these ones, I focus on these ones. If I don't have any of these ones, I focus on that one, which will create these ones, right? So with this, first of all, it takes a lot less space, right? So instead of 12, we only have three. It also takes a lot less people, a lot less electricity and teraflop. Of course, it will take a bit more time to make it, right? But what you can do is then when you have more teraflops, then you can increase you know your production uh, like this basically right you just need to make sure that these instead of going directly into it you create a bus network and then yeah we can have more of these but with that we'll be able to make our own microchip very soon and we won't have to buy them on the map anymore don't hesitate if you have any questions thoughts about the microchip production i'd love to hear about it and i hope to see you next time